So when I'm using nominal variables or categorical variables in my regression, I basically have three different options. I can use effects coding, I can use contrast coding, or I can use dummy coding. Uh, and there are various reasons to use these. It has to do with the interpretation of the data. We're going to talk about today dummy coding because this is what you're going to see most often. Typically when IO psychologists use categorical variables, they're going to use dummy coding. So let's talk about what that means just a little bit. When I use dummy coding, again, I set up a number of variables in my regression equation. And the number of variables that I'm going to use is g minus 1, or the number of groups that I have minus 1. So for instance, uh, if I am interested in uh, people from different regions, right? And so we'll say from the South, from the Midwest, from the Northeast, and from the West. And I probably should have drawn that in a different direction, right? But these are four different categories of regions that you could be from. Now this is one, two, three, four different groups. And so I need to choose one of these to be my reference group. In this case, we'll choose West as the reference group. Again, following all those reasons that we talked about earlier, or just picking at random if none of those reasons apply, I choose West to be my reference group. So now I have one, two, three categorical variables that are going to be of interest to me. Now I have a particular case, right? And so this is case one, and I'll call this me. So me, Dave Wallace, I'm from New Jersey originally, and so I'm from the Northeast. So I need to establish where I am on each of these variables. So, because it's not just, I'm from Northeast and that's my variable. I have three different variables, G minus one variables, that I need to set a value for, for this particular case. So in this case, South would get a zero because not part of that group. Midwest, get a zero, not part of that group. Northeast, one, because part of that group. Which should be obvious here that is if West was a group, right? If my reference group was one of my variables, I know exactly what that has to be. Because I know the value of these three other variables, I know that this must be zero. That's why we have a reference variable and that's why we don't include it because we know what that value would be based on all these others. So there's no degrees of freedom here. And when there's zero degrees of freedom, we actually don't have a solvable equation. So that's why I have a reference variable, because I would know that value. What I really want to get across here is this idea that we set a value for each variable based on the status of that particular, right? So someone else who's from the South, right? So I get Joe Southerner here, right? Gets a one here, a zero on Midwest, and a zero from Northeast, right? And Jane Midwesterner would get a zero on South, one on Midwest and zero on Northeast. And then last but not least, I would have uh, maybe Bobby from the West. He's a Westerner, Cowboy Bob, gets a zero for the South, zero for Midwest, and also zero for Northeast. And again, what should be obvious is if we had West as a variable, he would have a one for that. So that's how we do our dummy coding. Uh, and next we're going to talk about how to actually include that in correlations and in regression equations. But this is how we do the coding. We have the number of variables we need, g minus 1, and every case gets a value for each of those variables.